All right, example five. Um, a sphere is just a ball. And the radius is the distance from the center, right? It would be a three-dimensional ball. So the radius is three inches in, in this example. Um, we're not memorizing this formula, but we want to know how to use it on our calculator. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and find volume by plugging in three. Um, I usually put numbers in parentheses when I plug them in. So R is three. Um, so we're going to go ahead and fo follow order of operations. If you're using your iPhone calculator, turn it sideways so you have more operations. Um, I highly recommend um, using a different calculator if you have the option. Um, and then the Chabot STEM Center actually has free calculator rentals, so I'll give you directions on that next week. So you don't have to use an iPhone calculator, but you also don't have to purchase a fancy calculator. Um, so order of operations, parentheses, we have parentheses, but there's nothing inside, right? Three is a single number. So we can skip parentheses and jump to exponents. So our first step on this one would be three to the third power. So you could do three times three times three, right? A third power means three times. Um, or you can hit the power button. So depending on your calculator, the power button usually looks like a little arrow pointing up, or it looks like X to the Y. Um, depending on the calculator that you're using. Um, so on this calculator, I see it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and type 3 to the, is how I read that, 3. And it'll look like a power. And we get 27 either way. So we get 4 thirds pi and then times 27. And now this is all multiplication and, and division, so we'll just multiply and divide left to right. Um, if you are using this cal same calculator as me, you can actually just type everything at once by doing 4 divided by 3 times pi. Um, pi is usually... Um, a little hidden on this one. It's actually the same button as the arrow. You can see it right there. I just have to hit second to get it. So second. Anything in orange on this calculator, you hit second. Um, that's really common on calculators. Um, so depending on the calculator, you'll find it somewhere. You can always send me a picture if you can't find it. And then you can do times 27, which is cool. Um, if you're... Don't, if you're just using your iPhone calculator, you're going to type 4 divided by 3, enter, then times by pi, enter, and then times by 27. So by just hitting the times button, it's timesing the previous answer for me. So it's cool because it keeps some of the digits for you. And then I didn't really tell you what to round, so we'll just do 3 right now. But we're not worried about rounding right now. So let me know if you have any questions about your calculator. You can send me a picture if you have a different one. Um, the iPhone has a pi button. It's kind of hidden towards the bottom. So give it a try and leave any questions below.